The impacts of climate change are obvious. They're all around us. Indeed, climate change is irreversible. We can manage the situation, we can get to net zero, but we also need to understand the risk to our environment, our buildings and our infrastructure. And we need to adapt for the future. This is a story about understanding those risks and adapting. So the University of Nottingham is a large organisation. We've got five campuses spread across the East Midlands, as well as a campus in China and a campus in Malaysia. We probably have over 400 buildings, varying in age and uh, architectural style across the university. The size of our university is roughly equivalent to around seven and a half Disneyland Parises. In terms of student numbers, we have about 34,000 based within the UK. When all the students are here, they make up around 10% of the population of Nottingham and that's the two universities combined so it really makes the city a very vibrant place and has a big impact on the local community. So I, over the last few years here at the university we've actually seen the impacts of climate change directly in our campuses. You know it's no longer something we hear about on the television or see in newspapers. The 40 degree heat wave that we had last year was obviously a very extreme situation. It meant that we had to close buildings, close research labs, and that meant that research had to stop. We've had flooding across our campuses that have resulted in libraries and facilities having to close. We've had wildfires on our campuses. So actually, we really wanted to understand what this means for us long term and put in place measures and mitigations to help deal with that into the future. Understanding the risk is a really important first step in the planning for adaptation. Without that understanding and being able to communicate the risks, you're not going to get the buy-in from the people that are the decision makers in terms of what do we do next. The university has been around for 100 years and we want to make sure that we're around for another 100 years and to be able to continue providing that teaching and research excellence that we're known for. The university has got a, a long uh, relationship with Hydrock. We've worked with Hydrock for a number of years and we were keen to engage with a partner that one, understood the university, had that good relationship, but also had a good understanding and knowledge and linked into elements such as the UK GBC. It also made sense for us to bring in a bit of outside help with a project such as this because Hydrock have the expertise that we might not have had in-house. The Physical Risk Framework was launched by UKGBC in August 2021. It's all about drawing upon different data sets that they might need and giving them that information. The key steps in the process are essentially information gathering. We not only need to understand as much as possible about the built assets that we're looking at, um, we need to have conversations with facilities managers, we need to go to site and we need to see some of the things that they're dealing with already. The second element of the information gathering is defining the climate scenarios and the information that we're going to use from the climate models. So the beauty of the report we've got is that it enables us to visualise and bring to life some of the risks associated with, with the university and its adapting climate. I think they now have a really good basis to take it further and to seek where necessary funding to actually take action that will help them, that's giving them the business case. The study has identified a number of buildings that overheat and you know we can use uh, blue-green technology tree planting to help enhance that further. Similarly uh, some of the areas that are going to be subject to flooding in the future we can use more natural sustainable urban drainage systems. It's really given us a nice visual picture at a campus level that we didn't have before so all of the maps that Hydro have provided through this study have given us that really nice overview, that bird's eye view of risk on the campus. I'd say to any organisation that hasn't started to think about it yet, now is the time. At the moment we've still got time to plan for it and we've got time to be realistic about the scenarios that are most likely and our worst case. Hydrock are a really great company, they're very professional, very enthusiastic and they've really helped us through the process because it's, it's, it was quite a detailed process to go through and they guided us through every step. The study has revealed that actually sometimes with the, even with the best intentions around creating low carbon buildings and a sustainable environment, without that consideration of the future, you may still be 
not acting in the best interests of, of your estate. There's still effects of the carbon emissions that have already been released into the atmosphere that are going to affect us for hundreds of years to come.